Hello everyone, this is Cher. Today I want to talk about one of the mountains of influence, that is the mountain of education. Why do people go and have an education? Why do people go to schools and colleges and universities? They go there because they learn. And they can learn two things, good or bad. It depends on what? First, it depends on the syllabus. So you should pray for the syllabus that your children are getting in schools and colleges and universities. You should also pray for the teachers that are teaching them. You should also pray for the school and college board members and committees, parents group, students group, especially the board committees which make up the rules of the schools and colleges and universities. If there's something that is wrong with a certain man or woman, check his education, his upbringing. Check his education, how he's being educated. Let us take a look down memory lane and see the result of the education of Nazi Germany. What happens? It happens that after that generation was taught the Nazi philosophy, millions of Jews were killed. We see now there are so many teachings in schools and colleges and the internet. Darwinism led to atheism, loss of belief in God, loss of faith. There are educations that teach or promote a certain religion, that promote hatred. Closer home, look at the result of education in America. They're teaching the effects of many things. They are teaching gender fluidity. They are teaching about so many things that are not good. What about the results of good education? In the, in the beginning of the American uh, Republic, the American forefathers made the constitution based on justice, liberty, equality, one nation under God. We see the effect of good education. Parents, pray for your children's syllabus. Know what they are being taught. Don't just feel satisfied having sent them to school or college or university. There's also the importance of moral education. Nowadays, we see that moral education is put in the, f- in the back. In most of the schools and colleges, there is no moral education. Before, during our time, we used to have moral education classes at least once a week. Now, hardly there are any such classes. Don't you think it's about time that we bring them back? We have seen the seven mountains of influence and all of us are in some corner or the other of a mountain. Let it never be said of us that when that generation died, another generation came that did not know the Lord or his ways. Wherever we are in our mountains, we learn and we are teaching principles to the rest. We should teach godly principles, whether in the family or in schools or colleges. How we conduct in our workplace that gives us finance also affect those who watch us. Everywhere that we walk in our mountains, we are leaving leaving footprints in the mountains. Let them be footprints.